Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car. Today with the brand new Mercedes S-Class convertible. At least that's what Mercedes claims to be this beautiful four-door open-top car. Because half a year after they have updated their limousines, now it's time to get a refresh for the two-door versions. So from the end of that year, convertible and coupe are coming with an upgraded design with way more comfort in the interior and with new engines. If you want to know what you can expect from the most luxurious two-door cars out of Stuttgart, stay tuned, join me on my test drive here at Thomas Geiger Car. Yes, the AMG is very powerful, it is very fast and especially if you open the sound flaps in the exhaust in the sports mode, it is also very loud, very aggressive sounding like a big super sports car. But it is not. You may not expect miracles from a car that weighs more than two tons and is longer than five meters. It's more the power cruiser, the Gran Turismo for the relaxed, comfortable ride and not the car for tight corners that you want to push very fast. If you look for something like that, you probably better take the GT Roadster, which has got the same engine, but it's somehow more agile. But on the other hand, it is not as comfortable not as luxurious. it's not your castle in the sky. Two of the three engines of the convertible and the coupe are new, coming with the facelift. The base model is now the S560 with a V8 that has cylinder shutoff for more efficiency and that delivers an impressive 469 horsepower. If you go for the S63, you'll get the famous 4-liter twin-turbocharged engine out of the AMG GT that delivers 612 horsepower. And if you long for the ultimate luxury, you better choose the S65 with the famous V12 engine, delivering 630 horsepower. No matter what engine you choose, 250 is always possible and you got enough power to have a very relaxed cruise or a very fast ride. So to create the perfect storm in this convertible, it only takes a little touch of your right foot. Amazing. In a regular convertible, you just like to drive on a sunny day like that. But in the S-Class, you actually don't have to care for the weather because you make your own weather. You got these special wind deflectors to protect you from the storm. You got heated and ventilated seats. You got the air scarf that blows warm air around your neck. You got heated consoles. You even don't have to care for the air quality outside because the air inside is beautiful scented with a specially composed perfume. And if it's really starting to rain, it just needs the touch of a button and the car will close its roof within less than 20 seconds, even while driving. So other convertible drivers might care for the weather. In the S-Class, you'll just do your own weather. Same as we know it from the limousines, we now have the energizing functions, although in the two-door models. Means Mercedes has composed a special ambience and a special setup of light, air condition, massage, perfume, sound, 
to comfort you while you're driving. Whatever mood you're in, you can just set up the system and you'll get a combination of all your senses teased to activate or to calm you down. You can refresh yourself, you can warmth, you can do something for your vitality or the enjoyment. And once you activate a program like that, it takes about 10 minutes and it's really combining all the efforts to please all your senses. This makes the convertible an even more sensual car and that's something no other competitor is offering. Mercedes has used the facelift to also upgrade and modernize the interior. And there are especially two parts where you can easily recognize that. The big screen now is bonded under one glass surface and looking way more integrated than before because there is this plastic bar not anymore. And you got the new steering wheel with the controls as you know it from the E-Class and with the gear lever at the steering wheel and not anymore on the center console. It all looks pretty good, very worthy, very luxurious, very well crafted. There's only one thing missing, still no touch screen. I can touch and swipe and do whatever I want. The only thing that I get is fingerprints on glossy glass. That's a bit of pity for the most luxurious car Mercedes is offering. As I already said, you don't have to care for the weather too much in a convertible as luxurious like that. But if it really should start raining or the sun is just too bright for your tan, then it only takes the touch of a button and you can easily close the roof while driving. That's something really comfortable. And once the roof is closed, the car is so well insulated that you tend to forget to sit in a convertible and it really feels like you're driving the limousine just with two doors and a little less space on the rear seat. Thank you for joining me on the first test drive with the Mercedes S-Class convertible. For sure it's not a new car but it's a real good update for a real good existing car. They've just tuned it at the right points. You got the more modern infotainment system. You got the great comfort of these energizing functions. You got more power with the new engines and you got the more beautiful look. So you got everything you need to enjoy. And for me, this car is all about enjoyment. And it's really standing out of the crowd because BMW, Audi, Cadillac, Infiniti, Nobody else has to offer something like that. If you don't look for the Rolls-Royce Dawn, which is just twice as expensive as the S-Class convertible, this is as close you can get to heaven on earth, as long as you want to have wheels underneath. Thank you, tschüss and bye-bye.